Poland's Senate unanimously ratified the EU-Armenia Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement, Armenian Ambassador to Poland Edgar Ghazarian wrote on Facebook. So far, the three Baltic states, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, as well as Romania and Poland, have ratified this document. President of Armenia Armen Sarkisian will meet with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at the State Department on Friday afternoon. Information about the visit was posted on the State Department's website. A tactical military exercise with combat shooting on Thursday was carried out at a military unit of the Defense Army of the Republic of Artsakh. Defensive and offensive actions were played out during this military drill. <music> President of Armenia Armen Sarkisian, Minister of Culture Lilith Makuns, U.S. Ambassador to Armenia Richard Mills, Armenia's Ambassador to the U.S. Grigor Hovanisian, and numerous other guests on Thursday attended the opening ceremony of the 2018 Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. Armenian and Catalonian arts and crafts will take center stage at this year's event. After the opening ceremony, the officials and guests toured the pavilions representing Armenian folk, arts and crafts at the National Mall Park. Prince William visited the Holy Spalker Church in Jerusalem, where he was welcomed by the heads of the three guardian communities. During his visit to the Armenian chapel, a welcoming speech was delivered by the Armenian superior of the Holy Sepulchre Church, Reverend Father Samvela Goyan, and an Armenian cross was presented to Prince William as a gift from the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Armenian MP Armen Ashotian plans to address his Bundestag colleagues regarding reports on a declaration signed by German defense group Rheinmetall and Azerbaijan. Rheinmetall is a large producer of military equipment and I believe that such a deal, if implemented, is a violation of the German law on military equipment supplies to the conflict zones as well as a violation of international commitments, Ashotian wrote on Facebook. Ashotian said he will address his German colleagues to clarify the reports. About 150 children have been taken to a Yerevan-based infectious clinical hospital and two-thirds of them are suffering from intestinal infections. According to a representative of the hospital, the number of children with intestinal infections has increased significantly in recent weeks as compared with winter and spring and the infectious agents causing this disease are both viral and bacterial. <music>